team to make it further in the playoffs. Jay, is it the Sixers or the Bucks? Bucks. Bucks. Sixers are a regular season lion. Joel Embiid has mm-hmm. more points than minutes played right now. Yeah, but they, so, for some reason, okay. they That's have been crazy. scheduled against all the teams that should they be They play relegated. the Pistons and the Wizards every week. Every <laughs> single <laughs> game. Every <laughs> single <laughs> game. They're just playing the Wizards or the Pistons. It's, it's yeah. crazy. Or they're going to Hornets um, every once in a while. They, they win by right, 53 right. points. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I think they're a, a regular season lion. They're really good and really deep, and they have a lot of good players um, and pieces that fit next to MB, next to Maxi. But I just feel like when you only have two creators, playmakers, it's going to make it really tough in the playoffs. And yeah, the Bucks just have they have Chris Middleton as a third. I think Dame and I trust Dame and Giannis in the playoffs more than I trust Maxi and Embiid. And so, even though the Bucks haven't been as good so far, I I lean toward them. Josh, same Bucks. I, I yeah, I think those guys. When you look at Dame and Giannis, I mean, having yeah, like you said, Middleton is a third option. I think yeah, they're not as good yet. But again, like we said, that the Sixers are playing the Pistons or the Wizards every single game. Yeah, I think when it comes down to it, it'll be. The Bucks will go further. Yeah, I'm. I I'm also going Bucks. I refuse to believe in the Sixers in any kind of postseason thing until they do it. At this mm-hmm. point, like, just I'm done. I can't. Like, you gotta you gotta show me that you can make it past the second round. And maybe both will lose in the second round. You know, one of those teams is gonna play the Heat. They just have to <laughs> figure out who can avoid it. 